So Biomutant offers tons of passive and active abilities that you will invest points into to become way stronger and even more important combine some really awesome effects with one another to create some really amazing combat results and in this video I want to cover just a few of these that have been confirmed up until today and there's a ton of these that you will unlock both for your character as passive and active skills but also on gear many of the pieces that you will find in the game will contain really cool bonuses that will make combat a lot more interesting so yeah let's jump right into it and as always if you enjoyed this video at any point it would be super awesome if you left a like on it but we do have a few confirmations on how this is going to work so essentially the game splits your actives and passives into two major categories one of them is called wung fu which is basically your kung fu abilities everything related to close and long range damage with the weapons with the fists and with the guns and then we also have the mutations which exclusively deal with spells. Now mutations in themselves also further split down into two different categories each so these are going to be called Psi Powers and Biohazard Powers and we've seen actually a ton of Psi Powers in recent trailers and a lot of the gameplay videos that have been released over the years so I kind of want to start things off with these ones and one of the first that we saw in a very recent gameplay reveal was the Freeze Power right here which which does pretty much exactly what you would expect, as in it deals that AoE damage with ice spikes against targets, it also freezes them momentarily, but most important, it also freezes the ground which will become slippery and as a result enemies will actually glide on it and they will literally be prevented from attacking you because they will be too busy on gliding on that patch of ice, which by the way will last quite a bit after you cast this ability. Now, now the other one that we saw in a different gameplay video was the blaze and this actually sounds pretty cool because it has a few functions. One of them is a gap closer slash way to disengage from the enemy as it essentially launches you forward the way you're facing with the camera but the second one is the fact that it also leaves that trail of fire in your back which means that you can set a few of these trails up so that you can pretty much ignite a full group of enemies. And by the way, if enemies are set on fire, they will fully panic eventually, so they will run in fear until the flames are extinguished. Another one that we saw in a Game Informer video from recently is called the Blink. Now this works similar to the Blaze, except in this case you will need a target as it is mainly a gap closing ability. So it teleports you to your target, but you also deal a shockwave damage on the way and you will deal another damage with whatever weapon you have equipped in your arm so really interesting one it's also a good gap closing ability for a hybrid kind of class so even if you go with something like a melee class that does not use any intellect whatsoever this can be a really good ability to have now there's a couple more that we saw in various trailers by the way one of them which probably got a lot of people hyped up is the levitate ability right here now this doesn't really have like a combat sort of mechanic it just makes you levitate but it is helpful in combat because this means you're further away from the enemy and while you have levitate active which is a toggleable ability by the way you're gonna be able to use your weapons your your guns and even more so your other spells and kind of act like a mage but it will consume key by the way so eventually you will have to come down to the ground unless you have high enough key and high enough key regeneration assuming you're going with a spell casting build there's more in there actually but the only one left that was covered in some of these gameplay videos was the sky spark which we can see in one of these combat trailers from a while ago now this is going to be one of those abilities that you will unlock a bit later in the game it's also going to have a certain aura requirement that i will not talk about in this video but essentially you press the button that you bind it for this spell once to activate the indicator so that you can select where it will land and then press it again to actually cast it in the first place and deal that high AoE damage. This is one of the highest AoEs in the game for any spell by the way and it's probably also one of like the highest damage dealers in the game assuming that you also further boost it with maybe a Psy Freak or a character that has really high intellect. Now these are all the Psy powers by the way, as I've said in the mutations category there is 
another one which has another like full set of other abilities. We only saw like a handful of these so I will cover them. One of them was also in the very recent gameplay reveal right here where you will see the character kind of spitting something green on the ground. Well that is called the Vile Bile and uh, yeah it's pretty much a toxic ability. You essentially like spit on the ground, you make that area of effect puddle on the ground with the green and whatnot and it will both deal damage and infect enemies and because it is a toxic ability it will make enemies vomit momentarily so this means that for at least a couple of seconds they will be unable to attack you because they will be too busy pretty much you know vomiting all over the place. Another one that we saw also in the same category was the fungi which is essentially kind of like this fungi mushroom thing that the character appears to cast from the ground. This can be used actually in a couple of ways. First of all you can use it as a way of moving on to higher areas because if you cast it beneath you or if you jump onto it it's going to boost you upwards kind of like in Mario and whatnot so it can be useful to that but you can also use it against enemies to throw them up in the air and also then like continue with a different sequence of attacks or maybe set up a few of these on the ground and make them bounce between each of these fungi slash mushrooms that you will place on the ground. Pretty funny ability to have and another one that we saw was the mucus bubble again a little bit later on in the game so just like what the name implies if enemies get close to you they will be stuck to that bubble you can collect like three four five six enemies and then if you pop the bubble which you can at any point you will throw them in different places so it can be good if you're on a high ledge or if there's like a pretty big fall point from where you are to throw them off a cliff or something and kind of like get rid of the enemies without having to deal more damage towards them there's many more in there that we saw even like a punch from the ground at some point we saw more on top that are in the full game but yeah no official confirmation so I can't really cover them in a video yet. Now again it's not where it all stops. These are just the active abilities. You have a lot more and a lot more for the Wung Fu which is kind of like your Kung Fu abilities that you will have in this game. So every single type of weapon, every single type of gun will have additional points that you will want to invest into because they will unlock new combos that you can do with those specific weapons. So just to give you an example with one of these games play footages right here. You have two one-handers in each hand, for example if you play as a saboteur or if you unlock that passive on a different class and you can actually do the regular chain of attacks with this by just pressing like an X or square on the controller but if you unlock a certain passive which is going to be the unstoppable pig you can also mix a different kind of combo which is going to be this flurry of stabs that deal really high damage against enemies so these are special types of attacks again every weapon in the game has them even unarmed combat has them and these are not the only special types of attacks that exist in the game there's also a dodge special attack that exists and also a jump special attack so here is the next bit that that becomes pretty interesting if you combine three different special attacks like the one that I just showed you you will actually unlock the ability to do a super kung fu ability or while well, one of the four existing super kung fu abilities so the first one is if you press simply the melee attack button this is called the turtle strike essentially you kind of do a barrage of quick punches against a single enemy target and you also kind of like lift them up in the air and you can use this actually a couple of times during the state of like Super Wung Fu. The second one is this ground slam ability where you have to actually first jump and then use the melee ability and in this case the character will do this kind of like really high jump and then back into the earth and it will deal a really high damage in a really big area pretty much taking a whole group down in one single attack. Another one which is actually you know pretty similar to Max Payne games is this one. So during the Super Wung Fu if you actually use your weapon it's going to do this rapid shot ability where you will actually um, fire at an increased rate but it's also going to be in slow motion so you will deal way higher damage because you're discharging a lot more you know bullets against the enemies so it's really really awesome and yeah again just max pain reference right there again there's others in there as well that you can unlock and invest points into the other thing that i will mention on a final note is going to be the fact that 
weapons and gear will also come with their own passives every now and then and I don't mean the bonus effects like electric, fire, frost or like radiation that you saw on various weapon pieces or various components, yes these exist and they will create some really powerful weapons. I also mean some of these abilities right here like the speed ability on this specific gun which makes all kills with this gun to immediately reload its magazine. There's others in there that might shoot additional rockets for example or additional chainsaw blades or other types of different projectiles or other types of mechanics that will make that specific gun better. Again passive and active likewise. But this is it. This is how you'll make your character that much stronger and this is how you will fare in Biomutant. I actually cannot wait to show you what this game has in store once it launches. So if you want to stay up to date with everything Biomutant related, definitely make sure you subscribe, activate the notification bell and leave a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.